Hey football fans, welcome back. Today's spotlight is on Manchester City's electrifying victory over Ipswich Town with none other than Erling Haaland stealing the show. The season opener had City fans buzzing with excitement, eager to see the team in action. But it was Ipswich who drew first blood, surprising everyone with a goal from Sammy Smodix in just the seventh minute. The early scare had City on their toes. Enter Savinho, the young Brazilian winger. He was instrumental in City's quick turnaround, winning a penalty that Holland converted with ease and then putting pressure on Ipswich's goalkeeper Murek, leading to a costly error. De Bruyne was quick to capitalize, giving City the lead. From there, the match swung dramatically in City's favor. De Bruyne was in top form, dictating play and creating chances. He provided a stunning assist for Holland's second goal, a precise pass that allowed the Norwegian star to score from a tight angle. De Bruyne continued to threaten, nearly scoring a spectacular goal from distance, only to be denied by the crossbar. His exceptional passing range and vision were on full display, controlling the tempo and orchestrating City's attacks. And then, Holland. His clinical finishing was nothing short of spectacular. Converting his chances with precision and power, he caused constant problems for the Ipswich defense. His movement and positioning were a masterclass in forward play. The second half was more controlled, with City comfortably managing the game. Ilke Gundogan made his return to the team after his transfer from Barcelona, adding depth and quality to the midfield. All eyes were on Holland as he closed in on his hat trick, and he didn't disappoint. With a powerful strike from outside the box, he sealed his treble, showcasing his ability to score from various distances. The match ended in a convincing 4-1 victory for City. Holland's hat trick, combined with impressive performances from De Bruyne and Savinho, signaled a strong start to the season for the reigning champions. That's it for today. If you enjoyed this recap, hit the like button, subscribe, and stay tuned for more football updates. See you next time.